up, I'm Paperface, and welcome to the Bottom Feeder Channel. Oh wow, look, a random fucking triangle. Wow, it came out of nowhere. It certainly wasn't traced. I'm gonna do something with it. I know in the last video I said I was Bottom Feeder. Well, that's because I made the video before making the channel. Got confused on what name goes where because I'm pretty sure I'm retarded. And now we're here. I stated in the last video that I'm not a professional artist by any means. I'm just a normal guy who wears a paper bag and draw stuff. And again, because I'm an idiot, I had the camera set in the wrong settings and now it looks shitty right now, but it'll change. I call myself bottom feeder because I like to envision myself as a roach. I'm poor, just trying to survive in a world that wants me dead. And you know what? I've managed. And that's all I want. So I had this really cool art idea in my head after my last design, decided to draw it out. Before you go on thinking I'm some sort of Satan worshipper or part of an elite secret society hell-bent on control, think twice. I'm not a secret society type of guy. I'm more of a culty, legendy guy. Completely different. My idea involves a bright triangle surrounded by darkness, like an opening in a void or the light at the end of the tunnel. Why a triangle? I don't know. Just came to me, as if somebody put it there. Somebody from beyond. Fun fact about triangles, tri meaning three and angles meaning who knows, 
is that they are the strongest shape in nature. They appear everywhere and it's got load-bearing capabilities which provides great stability. Perfect for opening up doorways to other dimensions and releasing beasts powerful enough to devour worlds. But that's neither here nor there. Crazy to think that the moments of this 10-11 minute video go by in flashes. This piece took like 18 hours to complete which is surprising because it didn't feel like it. But I guess that's the price of doing what you love. You can't feel the sacrifice just the joy that comes from it. I really wish I went darker with the gray, but I couldn't find a marker dark enough to be shadow-like or bright enough to differentiate from the black design. It makes more sense when I say it in my head, but I'm not perfect, so don't judge me. So 
I was coloring in the white part of the triangle with a white jelly roll gel pen as to give it a brighter tone. Because if I didn't, you'd see the smudging of the pencil under it would have made the whole piece look dingy and that's not the effect I wanted. <laughs> And of course, there's always a sense of accomplishment the feathering and texture of a paper can give you once a page is filled. I can imagine it's what God felt after finishing his work on humanity, then maybe realizing these people are kind of screwed up, but I love them anyway. Hope you enjoyed me and my useless talent. Give a like if you did, comment if you feel like, and subscribe if you want more. Later.